Hey guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you how you can bend the object in Maya. For that we're going to use our bend deformer in the uh, animation uh, tab but before we get to that we're going to set up the scene first. So we're going to start off by creating a simple polygon cube. So select your uh, polygon menu. We're going to select a, uh, a cube here and we're going to drag something out like this and pull that up. Okay, and I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode. So now we've got that, there's one important thing you need to know. Uh, in order to bend an object you need to have uh, a certain number of subdivisions, otherwise you won't be able to bend it, regardless of the bend deformer. At least you won't be able to bend this in, like for example, a U-shape. So once we created this cube here, we're going to go into the properties in the attribute editor, and if that doesn't come up, select the object, hit Control A, and we're going to bump this up to 10, 10, and 10. All right, like so. Okay, now we're going to go up here to our drop down menu. We're going to select the animation tab, and we're going to go up to create deformers, go down to a non linear, and select bend. Now, as you can see, the bend deformer has been created in my object, but it's vertical and my object is horizontal. So if I wanted to bend it this way, I could, but it wouldn't give the effect that I'm looking for. I want to bend this like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that bend uh, handle and I'm going to hit E and I'm going to rotate that so it's in line. And I'm just going to go to the properties here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, in the bend handle properties and I'm gonna go to minus 90 all right so that's nice and level next I'm gonna go into my uh, bend tab and I'm gonna play with these settings here you got your high bound and your low bound and as you can see the purple line is stretching out that pretty much determines <coughs> where it's gonna start the bend in the object now, if I select Curvature and I start to play with that, you can see it's bending in this way. Now, if that's what you're looking for, that's fine. But let's say, you know, you want to move it in that direction. Again, I'm going to select my Bend Deformer, and I'm going to rotate it like this. And again, I'm going to check whether I'm at 90 degrees. Okay. I'm going to go back to my uh, bend, and we're going to try that again. And as you can see, now I can move it like so. Okay, now let's say that this is the shape that I'm looking for. If I now want to continue to uh, select this object, for example, and scale it out, and I hit R to scale, it won't work properly because we still have the, uh, the bend deformer in effect. So I'm going to hit Control z to go back, like my original shape. And while I got my object selected, when I'm sure I'm done with all the bending activity, so to speak, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the object, I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to go to Delete, Delete by Type, History, and now the bend handle is gone. Okay, so now if I select it and I scale it out, no problem. If I want to move it, the same there. All right, that's basically uh, how it's done. Uh, it's not too difficult. I uh, hope this was helpful. And uh, if you've got any questions uh, or comments, you know uh, where you can leave them. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching.